No, bro, I hate this car with a passion, especially when I see them in Memphis. Because they always smell like somebody was fondling some orangutan titties in the interior. And then, speaking of interior, you can pretty much hear the dashboard in this picture. It's the first car all ratchet single mothers go by to prove to their baby daddy they don't need a motherfucking thing from them. Oh, Stop asking me questions like, hey, guru, listen, um, I just put 30 folds on my Impala. Damn, you got a 96, 95 Impala? No, bro, I got the front wheel drive, John. It's a V6. How you make it reliable enough to handle 30 folds? Push that bitch off the moon and pray for the best? Oh, but let's talk about the people that actually do take care of these things. Oh, yeah. It's about every 3,000 mile oil change, every 5,000 mile oil change. You know, no transmission issues. No, but some of y'all hard-headed in the motherfucker. Instead of going to get your fluids changed, going to get your brakes done, you try to sell that bullshit, that raggedy-ass car to the next person on Facebook Marketplace for $3,600 knowing goddamn well it's worth 2000 Because you failed to mention you went 720 miles an hour in this motherfucking car with no oil if you drove a maxima in the 90s before all of the stereotypical baby mamas touched them and put furry steering wheels and eyelashes on that motherfucker this was the perfect vehicle this would would have got you so much cutty back then if you was a dope boy in the 90s you definitely drove a ls 400 a two-door tahoe or a SC300 or 400. In other news, because my ADHD flying all over the place, this here is supposed to be the Mazda Miata competitor. It's like a key car that's not a key car. It comes with a Daihatsu 1.3 660cc, well, three-cylinder, turbo three-cylinder. And I know, you're probably wondering, how much power does it make? It don't even make over 100 horsepower or 100 torque, so... There's that. Now, I suggest now, and this may be sounding crazy, but Toyota is developing a big turbo four-cylinder that makes 600 horsepower in one of the Lexuses. They, you know, they've been testing it in a Lexus, right? So this thing here may weigh no more than about 2,700 to 2,800 pounds. Now, 600 horsepower in this little thing right here? This, <laughs> this thing would kick more ass than a Caucasian dad after a hard day at work. I don't know what's up with Toyota lately, but they've been trying to prove to everybody that uh, they still got that 90s flair. At this point, Toyota just building luxury go-karts. Then, on top of that, it's smaller than my patience for ratchet-ass women. It's a goddamn angry Walmart radio.